Hi everyone, this is Radio Man Gaming and I'm Radio Man. I'm back with another scum video for you all, and in this one, I'm going to go over engineering and what it can do for you. I'll also show you how I like to level it fast. Well, with fast being used as more of a relative term. Okay, let's get started. Engineering is one of the two major crafting skills in the game, alongside survival. It will allow you to build base components, furniture, and some of the more complex items. Most importantly, you can craft your own ammunition. This skill is under the intelligence attribute, which can be leveled, so be sure to start with at least three points. Shown here is a character with zero points in engineering. As you can see, you can only craft the no-skill items and blueprints. Take note, you can make improvised 9mm. Also, with no skill, you will have to use the most materials to fill in your blueprints. Just take a look at this wall section. The biggest section of wall you can make uses 80 sticks, 40 planks, and 40 uses of tool. And now a quick look at a character with basic engineering. With basic, you unlock only a few items, most notably the improvised fishing reel and basic lock protection. Down in the base building category, you get a handful of new blueprints, including the foundation and a small cabin. On top of that, the material quantities should be dropping. Let's have a look at the cost of a wall now. As you can see, you get a slight drop from 80, 40, and 40 to 72, 36, and 36. Moving on to medium engineering. Now you can craft revolver ammunition, both 38 and 44 caliber. You can also make the rubber ratatat, which is an automatic crossbow. You also have your medium lock protection and silver locks, medium storage chests, and some critical base components, like the improvised well. You get further discounts on the building costs of blueprints as well, dropping the price of a wall another 8 sticks, 4 planks, and 4 tool uses to 64, 32, and 32 respectively. Finally, with advanced engineering, you unlock the rest of the ammo recipes. You also get your golden lock and advanced lock protection. The metal storage chest is now available, as is the large cabin. And you guessed it, you get another discount on the blueprint build cost. The price of a wall goes down in the same increments to 56, 28, and 28. Much nicer than what it was with no skill, and your base should go up much faster. When some people make a character, they will start with an advanced engineer, do most of the major construction, and then re-roll to have a better survivalist or PvP character. This is perfectly fine. However, it really only works if you have a squad. If you play solo, or are like me and prefer to keep the same character for as long as possible and level into your skills, you will have to do a little work to get to advance. Now, I'm going to show you my preferred way of grinding this out. Basically, all you are going to be doing is cutting trees into planks and then placing the planks into a chest blueprint. You do not have to finish the chest as you will get experience points for each individual plank you put in there. You can place other blueprints, but through a little testing, I found that chests will give you some of the best per plank experience. Also, they don't require much more than the wood and no tool usage, so you won't wear out your equipment too fast or waste any other supplies you may still have in your inventory. One more advantage to the chest blueprint is that it is small and can be easily placed around where you are working. If you've had a bit of luck and found a chainsaw like I did, this will be much easier. In addition to cutting a little faster, you will get 6 planks per log versus 4 with the manual saw. However, you may want to find a safe spot as the chainsaw is quite loud. You will also need one tank of gas in your hiking backpack, which is enough fuel for the entire grind, and you will want to bring as much food as possible. After about 35 minutes of filling blueprints, I hit basic. This included a meal break, where I rested to digest the food and get my energy up. I continued on making basic chests, which now only needed 6 planks each. This is nice for the mildly OCD as you get 6 planks per log with the chainsaw. I also figured out I saved a little time and fuel by sawing all the logs, shutting the saw off, and using up the planks before moving on to the next tree. After about 90 more minutes of grinding, I hit medium. This of course includes meal breaks and fending off a few odd puppets. Determined to complete my grind before heading back to base, I soldiered on. 
While on my way to advanced, I worked out another way to save a little time and fuel. I began using my manual saw to cut down three or four close together trees, then using the chainsaw to cut every log into planks. I was getting around 28 logs cut per tank of fuel. I finally got to advanced from medium after about six and a half hours of play. This includes a little hunting once I ran out of food however. By the time I shot a few birds and then cooked them up, I had wasted an hour. Also, for the ones out there who love their stats, I cut down around 65 trees between medium and advanced. It could be more or less for you, as some trees give more logs than others. From no skill, this all took around 8.5 hours total. One thing I wish I knew before I started is that you can actually hold Shift plus F and you will autofill all the planks into the chest at once. This would have made it so much faster. Who knows how much, maybe hours. I'll find out after the next server wipe I guess. If you do hate the idea of grinding this out all at once, make a point of processing a tree or two when you first log in, or maybe right before you get off. Waiting for your slowpoke friends can be another good time to squeeze in a little grind. Before we end this, another benefit of this grinding method worth a mention is you get survival points from all that sawing. I made it from no skill to medium when it was all said and done. If you're only doing one or two trees or want to take the time, you can also go another step further and process the branch down into wooden arrows, wooden arrows being the best item to craft to grind survival. And that's going to be all for today. I hope it wasn't too boring, but there is definitely some useful information here to help you get the most out of your character. If you are having trouble fighting your hunger, check out my other scum videos where I teach you how to fish and how to cook the perfect steak on a grill. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for future content. Also, a big shout out to everyone who have subscribed so far. Thank you guys so much, it really does mean a lot to me and I hope you all stick around. For now, have yourselves a wonderful day. This is Radio Man, signing off. Radio Man.